So you don't have to be type A and you don't have to be a white woman. There you go. I said it. I said it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Imani and I am a beauty, lifestyle, and fashion YouTuber. So today I'm gonna be chatting about things that you should know before you consider becoming an SLP. I can't wait to get right into it. I'm also gonna be doing my makeup as we go, so let's get started. I'm gonna start by moisturizing my face really quickly. This Clinique moisturizer has changed my life. And I also already did my eyebrows because I filmed a video before this, so eyebrows are done. I'm gonna put on a little bit of eye cream, Banana Bright eye cream. Ow. Today, I'm gonna be using for the first time the L'Oreal Infallible. Yes, yes, yes. I picked up the color 212 Cocoa. As I'm doing this, I'm gonna go into one of the first things that I think you should know before becoming an SLP graduate student because I'm not an SLP yet. Let's get real here. I think you should know that our field is very old school, conservative. It's progressive in some ways, but it's not diverse. Our field is not diverse. Um, if you guys look like me or you don't, but you're a minority, our field is just very whitewashed and I think it's important to put that out there because I've had some very weird experiences as a black woman going into this field and I'm not even in the field yet. So I worked at a clinic, a speech pathology clinic. We had a situation, this is not great, but we had a situation where there was a commercial and it was one of those commercial, it was like an old school commercial where they were coming in and filming what was going on in each part of the office. So of course they had to get the receptionist. So there was a portion where they wanted the receptionist just typing and you know, just do your thing, just type, and then we'll like pan the camera around and get you guys doing your job. So I started typing and I'm doing my job and I'm like, oh, this is cool, I'm gonna be on a commercial. A few minutes later, I get a tap on the shoulder, like Imani, and I'm like, yes. And they're like, um, do you mind moving to this seat? Like that seat over there? And I was like, yeah, sure, that's fine, no problem. And when I sat in that seat, I realized that the camera was angled in a way that there was no way, it was blatant, there was no way that that camera was getting me on camera. Whether it was the back of my head or anything, that camera was not getting me on camera. And it was strategic, obviously, that they had put me in a spot where people couldn't see me. And that was just one of the many little instances of racism, honestly, like straight up. I'm not saying that SLPs are racist at, in any way, shape, or form. I'm not saying that our field is racist. No, not going there. There may be some looks that you get, some questions that you get asked, um, and you know, just a little bit of surprise when you walk into a room as someone who is going to school for this. So be ready for it. Embrace it, because I do. Okay, I have foundation on, by the way, and I like it. It's very light. I like a light foundation. Go in with the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. I have the shade Chestnut. Um, on a lighter note, I think another thing that's really important to know before you become an SLP is that things that you hear about this being like the most rewarding career ever is so true. I know like before I went on, people were like, it's the most, like there's all these things, but it's the most rewarding career in the world. And I was like, yeah, sure. But now that I'm doing it, I see every day that like when my clients have progress and I'm seeing that and I'm seeing that it's because of the work that we're doing together, it is, there's literally no better feeling. If you're interested in this field, you know how important it is to be able to express yourself, especially in our day and age. There's so much going on. 
it, it makes me emotional. Why did that just happen? I just started like, ee, like welling up with, okay. I'm not gonna do that. But there's so much going on. Like I just think about some of the horrible things that are happening in the world and some of the amazing things that are happening in the world. And these things are happening because people have a voice. They're expressing themselves and they feel empowered to do so. So I think that as an SLP, you don't realize that you're such a huge part in that empowerment and that voice. And your job is so important. So. That's something that is true about SLP. If you read it anywhere, if someone tells you that and you feel like they're bluffing you, they're not. Like it really, really is the truth. I'm gonna wet my beauty blender and come right back. All right, I'm gonna dip into some powder and get into the next thing. Next thing that you should know is that you are not going to be a teacher. I think that there is a huge misconception because in a lot of settings, especially in the school setting, people will call the speech therapist the speech teacher. I understand why. Um, I understand why. Because in a school setting, a teacher is someone who is in the building and sometimes that word is just a blanket word for anyone who helps kids. The reason why I felt like this was important is because providing therapy and teaching is two totally different things. And I'm working on this because I am a teacher. Um, I'm still a teacher and it's very different to provide therapy because when you're providing therapy, you're helping a person through what they're doing rather than teaching. It's just like is teaching a concept, testing a concept and making sure that the child understands it. Whereas therapy is like, working through more functional things that someone needs to do for their life and i love ther therapy for that reason but if you're still interested and you're still confused watch some youtube videos of therapy watch like an adult watch um a child and see how therapy is a little bit different than like sitting in a classroom so that you can understand what you're going to be doing whoa my forehead is big <laughs> powder just makes everything better though doesn't it today i'm going to contour using this brush right here and the elf finishing powder i have this in the color deep so the next thing that you should know before going into slp grad school is that there are so many options as far as what you want to do afterwards so before you go into grad school i think it's really great to kind of have some type of experience with different types of people whether it's adults or children or just even to have like an idea of what you want in the future because it's really hard to decide and you're gonna get so much exposure and there's some people who know that already but i'm definitely someone who's like eh. by the way I'm just gonna pause here. Can you see how I contoured this side of my face? I didn't blend it out that much yet and didn't do this side. Do you see the difference? Like, look at this. Don't look at how it's not blended. I'm gonna be setting my makeup with the Makeup Revolution Hyaluronic Fix Spray. I'm gonna let this set and come back to do the eyes. Cool, so our face is totally done. I'm gonna go right into the eyes now. And today I'm using this Jaclyn Hill palette. Again, I've been having fun with it, so we're gonna go back into it. I have class in like a little bit, so yeah, we're gonna make this fast. Okay, let's get back to our list. Another thing I wish I knew is that I didn't have to be type A to be in this job. I think that a lot of the things that you see maybe on social media or um, when you see SLPs like online, Pinterest or something like that and maybe the SLPs are like sharing their schedules or sharing how they organize something and it kind of just like, it comes off that every SLP is this type A type personality who needs everything organized, who 
is just very like meticulous about everything in life and there are some SLPs and people in grad school who are like that but there is no prescribed way to do this job you can be whoever you are and be great at it because everyone has something to give I think I'm not type A at all but I'm amazing at this because I love people I love being an advocate for people oh this is a good one something another something that I wish I knew is that the paperwork in SLP is real like people talk about it but it really is one of the most tedious parts of the job of the job and it's a big part of the job and what I mean by that is like the actual reports that come along with your clients for me it's been a huge process learning how to write clinically because writing clinically and writing like for college is two totally different things so definitely like before you get into grad school work on your writing but not clinically because you don't know how to do that yet and don't worry about it until you get into it but work on writing more concisely going into graduate school if i'm just being honest i my writing was all about me expanding my papers in the best way that i could and that would be by adding a bunch of filler words and it would get me by it would get me to the page limit that i needed to get to and I'd do great and there we go like it was just a thing and that's a thing in college but maybe it was just me honestly now I feel kind of did you do that let me know in the comments because I did that and we all did that okay if you didn't do that I need to know but anyway that's something that I did and I feel like being in graduate school and now clinical writing the minute and I mean the second that you start to add in filler words and you start to like go off on a tangent it's a no-go like it is gonna you're gonna get feedback on it and you're gonna have to revise it so work on it now because it is hard to kind of like reel it back I can't believe I, I'm saying this stuff but hopefully you guys appreciate me getting really really nitty-gritty with you another thing that I didn't know like I mentioned earlier you kind of you do need to learn about everything whether you want to actually go into it or not so you need to learn about things like strokes and Parkinson's it's honestly so cool we're not doctors and like we don't make those kinds of diagnoses or anything like that but <laughs> It is um, really cool that you're going to know about so many different disorders and you're going to really have a lot of background knowledge um, just from your grad school courses. So if you're into that, just know it's going to be really cool. I just put a shimmer color in the middle. And I'm gonna blend it out, but right now I'm just making sure you can. So as I'm blending this out, I just thought of another one. By the way, I'm picking up a brown color again just to blend this out. But people are not going to understand what you're doing. People may not even understand your field or what you're studying. So be prepared to explain your field. Be, be prepared to have like a tagline of what speech pathology is and what speech pathologists do because people are going to be so confused. Just know that like you may have to think of a few ways to explain SLP and that's okay. Um, it's actually really fun when people learn about what you do. It's like, oh shoot, like that's, that's what they do? Yeah! So you get to be a lot of times like I'm the first one to explain to people what an SLP does. So I'll have that opportunity to expose someone to the field. We're a pretty big deal. That's basically what I'm saying. I'm not serious. Please know that I'm not serious. I am being an idiot. Okay, I'm going to fix my eyebrows because with the eyes now, it looks pretty weird. This is the Precisely My Brow pencil by Benefit. I have the color number five. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more mascara. Colossal big shot, colossal big shot, colossal big shot. I have class in 20 minutes, I have class in 20 minutes. All right, I'm gonna take these braids down 
Okay guys, so here is the finished look. Super brown, super glowy. That foundation, the Infallible Pro Glow. I really liked it and I definitely will be using it again. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you learned a lot of things that I wish I knew before going into graduate school. I will see you guys in my next video. Comment down below anything else that you would like to see from me. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.